Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhat Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about three score. It is a very important topic in compiler design, right? So three address score, in short, it is also called as what? TAC. TAC, three address score, okay? So what is the meaning of three address score? Just see, three address score, three address score is a type of intermediate, is a type of intermediate code in which, in which each high level language, in which each high level language statement is represented by utmost, this is very, very important, by utmost three addresses, utmost three number of addresses, means will represent any code, any code or any expression or any statement by utmost three number of addresses. How will means uh, represent a means a program or a statement in three addresses later we'll discuss okay so this is one of the important standard forms of three address code this is one of the important standard forms of three address code okay the first one x equal to y of this is op means operator op means what operator operator okay y operator j and second one x equal to operator y mainly the first one generally used for binary operator binary binary operator okay the second one mainly used for what unary operator unary operator unary operator like suppose x equals to minus j Suppose binary operator is like x equal to y plus z, just like this is binary operator and this is unary operator. So first one and second one both are expression statement. Okay. The third one x equals to y, this is copy statement. We'll use this type of address means for copy statement. Okay. The fourth one is go to. This is go to L. L means number means label. Suppose go to label means suppose go to five, go to five. So this is unconditional job. This is unconditional job. Fifth one, it's conditional job. Conditional job means if A is greater than B. Suppose condition true. If condition is true, then go to L1. Means go to L1 label and if else, else part, suppose condition, if condition is false, then we'll go to, we'll go to what? L2 means level 2, okay? Means or else part, okay? Sixth one, we'll represent RH in this way. What? X of I equals to Y or X, X equals to what? Y, I, okay? So next one, we'll represent the pointers like this. What? X equal to star P or Y equal to address of X will represent all pointers. Will represent, suppose any functions. Functions are like what? Parameter. Param means what? Param means parameter. Param means what? Parameter. Parameter. Okay. Parameter P1, parameter P2, up to parameter PL. Called sub programming. Sub programming means just the function name or method name or we can say, uh, Okay, method name, right? Or procedure name, right? And the number of parameters and the number of what arguments or parameters we can say the number of arguments, how many number of arguments in the function. Okay. So now we'll construct, now we'll construct the three address code using this, using this following, using this following what methods or sorry, using using this following formulas. Okay. So that means what? Following formulas means if pointers are there, so we'll use like this. We'll use this formula. Suppose if arrays are there, we'll write this formula. If conditional jump is there, we'll write this formula like this. Okay. So how to means to convert a given statement or expression in uh, in three address code? Just say. Okay. The first question, construct the three address code of the following statement. X equals to what? X equal to A plus B. 
So what is the definition of three address code? We will represent the three address code by at most three number of address. At most, at most three address, three number of addresses, or we can say registers. At most three number of addresses. At most three number of addresses. This is very very important. Just say. In the given in the given statement or expression, how many number of addresses are there? This is one, this is second, this is third, and this is fourth. So in the given in the given statement in the given statement or expression, there are four number of registers or four number of addresses. So we have to convert. That's why we have to convert the given addresses, sorry, the given statement or expression into three address four. But how? Just see. So first we'll construct. First we'll construct means first we'll store this B star three just in T one, in T one. Like suppose T one equals what B star three. Okay. Then we'll ah uh, we'll add one more register suppose T two. T two equals what A plus this A plus what. T one, so A plus T one, then x equal to will assign x equal to what T two. So this is called as the three address code. Let's see the first statement contains how many maximum number of registers? One, two, three. The second statement contains how many maximum number of registers? One, two, three. Let's see the third statement contains how many maximum number of registers? One and two. Means at most three number of registers or three number of addresses. This is very very important. Okay, remember one thing: the three address code, three address code may be different for means uh, all users or all readers. We can say, okay. So that it does not mean that the three address code will same for all users. Will same for all users. It never. It may or may not be same. Okay, I can also add like this uh, some a uh, different code, right? I'll write. Let's see. Let's see this one. I'll convert. Let I'm I'll assign suppose this is T one. Someone may assign suppose this is T two. Someone may assign like this is T two. Suppose someone may assign this one as T one, or someone may assign like this is T two. So that's why sometimes it may or may not be same. Okay, but it should follow. But it should follow the rule of three address code. Okay. So I'll assign what B star C equals to T one. T one equals to the C. Here, how many number of registers? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this statement or this expression does not follow three address code. So now we have to convert the following statement into C address code. So I will assign what T one B star C T two equals to D star E. Then T three equals to what T one divided by T two T one divided by T two. What is our T four? T four equals what? A plus this part. This part means what? T three. So A plus T three. Then X equals to what? X equals to T four will assign. So this is the three address code of the given statement. Okay. Now we'll see one more example. This is one of the Procedure or function. Okay, so we will use the formula like last formula. You can see this is the formula for procedure means this one. Okay, so let's see. Here, how many number of parameters? So here i and j both. There are two number of parameters. So I will write like this. Parameter i. Okay, there is no semicolon on it. Then parameter, parameter 
j then we will call what function name here function name is sum comma how many number of arguments there are two number of arguments so i'll write what two i'll write two right so in this way we will convert this is the three address code of the given statement or function or we can say procedure okay now we will convert to one more statement this is the statement print f percent l d percent l d comma x comma y let's say we will convert first this one as t1 this one as what t1 so t1 equals what percent l d percent l d okay bracket okay we can use the bracket because this part the entire part will convert as t1 then parameter parameter what this is t1 then parameter x then parameter y parameter y then we'll call call what function name here function name is print f print print f so how many arguments here this is t1 1 2 3 so there are three number of arguments so this is the given three address code of the given statement or procedure or function okay so in this way we can construct the three address code in the next class we will discuss about the three address code of if else statement on 1d array 2d array 3d array how to construct uh, the three address code for 1d 2d array 3d array like this okay in the upcoming classes we will discuss okay thanks for watching